Those super exciting market reports for Boise and the Treasure Valley area coming at you for January. Hey guys, Rebelan Mueller with Better Homes and Gardens, 43 degrees north real estate. Today we're going over those super fun January market reports. What's up, YouTube? <laughs> she sells Boise, Insta, TikTok, YouTube. Facebook, Facebook, use her as your realtor. <laughs> She's my fave. I love it when my daughter's friends pop in. Love you, Sarah. Love you. Second daughter right there. All right, guys, we're gonna be going over those January market reports here shortly. Just remember, we're always about one month behind. That's why I'm doing them now. Um, if you have questions about buying, selling, investing, or relocating to the area, feel free to give me a call, text, or email. Go to shesellsboise.com to go check out homes. Let's dive in. Okay, diving into this market report for January of 2023. We have Ada County over here to the east and Canyon County Lays just to the west. We are located in Southwest Idaho. And let's take a look at the highest price home that was sold and it was $3.25 million. And that was in Ada County. The lowest price home sold was $141,750 and that was in Canyon County. The most expensive area to live at the moment is in Eagle with the median price of $975,000. Most affordable area is in Cannon County Other. Uh, that's coming in at a median price at $228,000. The most popular areas by county over in Ada County is Northwest Meridian with 76 homes sold in January. Number two is Eagle with 49 homes sold. Number three is CUNA with 48 homes sold. Now over in Canyon County, number one is South Nampa with 67 homes sold. Number two, Northeast Nampa with 52 homes sold. And number three is Northwest Nampa with 50 homes sold. Now home sold total for January over in Ada County was 454 homes. That is down 32.84% compared to last year. Over in Canyon County, 305 homes were sold. That's down 20.57% from last year. Days on market. So our average days on market in Canyon County right now, excuse me, in Ada County is 71 days on market. And that's up 97.22%. Can you imagine though, from last year, this time, the spring is coming, rolling around. Um, we were just starting to see the slowdown in May, but hadn't slowed down quite yet. So this makes so much sense to me because homes were literally still having multiple offers just within hours of hitting the market. And over in Cannon County, 83 days on the market, and that's up 97.62%. So if you have your home up on the market and it's been sitting for a while, this should give you some comfort knowing what the average days are on market. It's not just a couple of hours or a few days or even a few weeks anymore. We're definitely looking into the two month plus period. Hottest segment of the market. So for resale over in Ada County, it is between the three and 400,000 mark, and that makes up 17.4% of the market. New bills in Ada County are coming in between four and 500,000, and that makes up 13.88% of the market. And the reason why we talk about the hottest segments of the market is because that's where you know where most of your competition is going to be if you are a buyer, and also where your price point needs to be if you are a seller within those price points to bring more buyers to the table for you. So over in Canyon County, resales looking between three and 400,000, making up 17.7% of that market. And new builds is three between three and four, also making up 25.59% of the market. Median sold price um, over in Ada County, that's $487,000 and that's down 9.72% compared to last year. Resale, $479,800, down 6.83%, and new builds, $494,990, and that's down 15.95%. And the median sold price over in Cannon County is $395,000, and that's down 6.39% compared to last year. And resale is looking at uh, $339,000 
and that's down 13.08%. And new builds, the median price is $415,450, and that's down 10.65%. So now let's look at the sold price, the average sold price over the last six months. So the average sold price over the last six months in Ada County was $619,000, and that's only down 3.5%, so not a whole lot. Um, over in Canyon County, 436,000 is the average sold price over the last six months, and that's down 6.08%. So you can see we've had a steady decline here. We are not tanking though, like the media will tell you that we are. We are remaining steady. We're at a bit of a standoff between buyers and sellers, a little bit of a stalemate, but as inventory starts to dwindle over the spring and summer, those prices are going to more than likely remain steady, if not increase. Now look at our month supply of inventory. As you can remember, over the last couple of years when I've done these marker reports, we are still in the same inventory shortage that we have had. So if we were in a balanced market, we would be between five, six, seven months of inventory here. We are still very much in a seller's market may not feel like it, but according to inventory, we very much are. We like to pay attention to the data, not the clickbait and the headlines. So for resale, we have 1.3 month supply, meaning that if no more homes came on the market for resale or new construction, this is what this numbers mean, is that there would be no more in, there would be no more homes available after 1.3 months for the buyer pool that we currently have. So for resale, it's 1.3. For new construction, it's 1.7. Over in Canyon County, a little bit more in resale coming in at 1.6 months supply and a little bit less in new construction coming in about 1.3 months supply. Um, now homes that were sold before or during construction, um, we're looking at 19% over in Ada County and in Canyon County, we're looking at 14% there. Now looking at a four year period here over the quarters, you can kind of see how we fluctuate through the seasons and the quarters. Um, we are definitely this last year behind from where we were in the last three years. But, um, you know, when things start to change in the market and shift like they always do, you are going to see those fluctuate. All right, guys, thanks for joining me for those market reports for January. If you have questions about any of that information or data, please feel free to reach out to me. I am always happy to help. Um, you can call, text, or email. Hope you have a great weekend. I'll see you next time.